Hello, kids. So today we are back with finally the third grade K-12 curriculum unboxing. Yep, and I hope some of it's interesting. Yes, we hope it's interesting. So let's jump right in. Hold on one second. If that's a barcode, that's the longest barcode <laughs> code I've ever seen in my life. So this is the welcome letter. It always says open first. I'm yes. not going to read you guys the whole thing. Yeah. I mean, I guess if you want it, I can like copy and paste it into the comments, but how do I get to my classes, preparing for the first day of school? Yeah, that's it. Not really that big of a deal. Which one do you want to start with? No! <laughs> Was that heavy? Do you want to make a prediction as to which course this is? I think it's, hold on, let me take one peek. No, 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 no. Oh, I just want to take like... No, 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 no. You have to, if you're going to guess, you have to guess, guess. Art? No, he's... Science. He's, he's not. Science. Science. Oh, so they give you What's... clay with science. I'm guessing this is... Oh, third grade is when you learn all about different like ecosystems. And I'm guessing they're going to have you make different ones. So we have a walk in the rainforest. A walk in the desert. A walk. Forest. A walk in everywhere. And prairie. So you can make, you can use the clay to make the ecosystem. And it comes with a compass. Compass? Let's see what it other books It comes with a compass. This is a book on seasons and how the sun affects the seasons. Oh, and this is a book about the moon. So that is cool. And then we have your, oh, there's a couple of other ecosystem books in here. Yep. This one is for tundra what? and Oh, it's forest. cute, it's cute. Student workbook one and two for, one for each semester. The student workbooks for science have worksheets that the kids will fill in as they go through the lessons. And then it's also gonna have the lesson assessments and the unit assessments. So you can either do those, there's a lesson assessment. So that's like a quiz after they've done their science work for the day. So you can do that either all online if you want to, or your child can do that in the workbook, and then you can just fill it in online for them. And then this is what one of the tests looks like. So again, you can do that online, or you can have them fill it in. Social studies. Ooh, I hope. Social studies doesn't have a lot. They I have the inflatable globe and a map which has the states on one side and the world map on the other. And usually whenever me and Lucy blow this up, we kick it. <laughs> so each course also has a checklist that will come with it. So you can check off the items that you got. And you can also, these are good to keep for, you know, whenever you return stuff at the end of the year. But it's really good because if one of these items is missing, you know, and it tells you where to go if it's missing or damaged, and you can request a new one. So included in the third grade social studies is um, a couple of books. And this is a hat too. Oh yeah, I remember this with Lucy. So we have this book on Michelangelo and his art, which is really cool also. And then there is an understanding geography workbook. I don't believe you can, I, I don't think you write in this one. It has reading and questions that you can ask to make sure that you're understanding the material. But you could like verbally ask your child these questions and they could respond or you could write them down in a workbook, like a binder just for this course or a composition book, either way. And a book does not come with this. Yeah, you gotta blow that up on on your own. Oh my gosh, is it that heavy? This actually is pretty heavy. It's art. It's art. Yep. And again, we have the 
checklist, and an old woman. <laughs> and we have an old woman. <laughs> art is optional for elementary school. We've done a lot of the art classes with Lucy, but in effort to like focus more on reading with Tag and things like that, we have not done as much with him. But their art course is actually really great. It gets into a lot of art history, things that most kids don't learn until high school, they actually introduce them to. So I love that. It's it's really, really worth your time to participate in that course. And especially with it optional, you can do a little bit of it here and there. You know, pick out the stuff that you like or that you think your kid would be interested in and just do those lessons. There's nothing wrong with that, but it is such a great course and definitely worth doing. And we got some more clay stuff. Is this clay? These are oil pastels. These are paints and a thing. You get tempera paints. Now I've heard some people bring up the concern about allergies because sometimes, well, and in the, the original way that tempera paint was made was with eggs. It's definitely worth looking into if you have that allergy. I just feel like it's probably not that kind because that it used to be made that way of necessity, but now tempera paint with eggs can actually be more expensive. So I would be shocked if this had an egg product in it. I think it's much cheaper <laughs> made than that. Not that they're bad paints, they're definitely Awesome. Yes, so, and we actually keep them. Yeah, I mean, we've kept them and used it. Like, if we haven't used all of it up and stuff, like, I mean, they've lasted for a while. These are great. If you have an allergy, just look into it before you use it. You get more clay, which you like doing stuff with clay, don't you? Yeah. It comes with four different colors green, red, blue, and yellow. Paint brushes, which he's already broken into. This is a pack of portraits that go along with whatever you're going to be learning in the lessons. They're not portraits. They're, these are different paintings that go along with the lessons. So it's cool to have those prints as reference. They have like some portraits, have still life. This is a sculpture, which is really cool. So it's just fun. It gives you something more engaging to look at than a computer screen. I'm like, don't look. Whoa, you, your abs are solid. You also get a workbook, just one workbook for both semesters. So it's, it's laid out similar to the other workbooks where it'll kind of have a summary of what you're going over and then it'll have some stuff that you can fill in. Yeah. Yeah. It'll have some pictures. Colors. Yeah, and it'll have like, so this one is how to draw a rhino shape. Oh, and these are two of the books, How Artists See Work and How Artists See Families. So these are just also going to have extra pictures in them that correspond to the lessons. So like there's a lesson where you might be learning about this particular artist or this type of method that she used. So that was third grade art. It's Oh, science? this is the rest of your science things. <clears throat> Everything came kind of individually packaged instead of like two giant boxes this year because of all of the new students that are coming in. So you can get in on the action of throwing grilled cheeses. Yes, I can. We can throw some grilled cheeses with these. During Christmas. We will. I'll link that video in the description down below. We, last Christmas, did a challenge where we had to make gingerbread houses out of our favorite food. And Lucy picked grilled cheese sandwiches. So whenever we got done, we kind of had a grilled cheese fight. And, you know, safety first. The cheese going into your eyes. <laughs> Lucy threw one over the fence into the yard. So you're gonna get safety goggles and a graduated cylinder. And a magnetite finder and a thing. Thermometer. Yeah, yeah thermometer. Yeah. So that's pretty much it for the, 
That's pretty much it for the science stuff for this year, it Can looks like. Can you put like. this in the freezer and see what happens at the end of the video? Sure, go ahead. And if you want to see our backwards words challenge, she'll put the link down below also. Yes, I will. All right, two more boxes. See? I think this one might be literature because it feels like it's got a lot of books in it. There might be a monster that might spit gunk at us. does look like literature. So they give you this nice bag to put your books in and this is great especially if you travel a lot and you're on the go like we are. This is really good for just taking whatever literature books you're going to need for the week and or just go. like books that yeah. you want to take on the go. That's right. Okay so this is the classic stories for third grade. I like those. Kindergarten, first, second, and third get these. The literature books change a little bit, I think, in fourth grade. These, Tag and Lucy have always ended up loving these stories. They'll usually have like a screenplay in here, which is really great to introduce kids to that format of reading stories. There are some that are like from different cultures around the world, different like stories that they've passed on. They do a really good job with this book. Well, the whole series of young readers. They do give you this chart, which is pretty cute. It's for the ELA courses, and I mentioned in another video whenever we did our setup, or whenever we did our schoolroom tour, that I really like to be able to track all of our courses, and I like for it to kind of look the same. But this is really great if you don't have time or you're not an extra person like I am. You can just use their pre-made chart for, at least for the ELA. Third grade also gets a spelling workbook. This is what it looks like. So you're gonna have one spelling unit for the whole week. You would start on Monday, introduce the words, and then you would do different things to practice throughout the week. Or if they already know how to spell these words, you can just take the test, which would usually be on a Friday. Now, some kids don't have spelling whenever they're in like second and third grade. It kind of depends on where they are with their reading. So Tag has worked extra on reading as opposed to doing his spelling courses. So there are different situations like that. If you feel like, wow, second grade has like some pretty big spelling words or, you know, whatever, just you can talk to the teacher about that. We had his spelling course removed for actually two whole years because he would work on spelling in reading. It was just different words and at a different level. So this is the literature and writing skills activity book. This is gonna have worksheets for you to fill in that's based on the story that you just read. You might have to write some sentences or do some comparison. You work on some like sequence of events. You can also use it to do writing assignments because literature does have some writing assignments at this level. So it actually has some instructions in it. It's not just, you know, something to fill in. I like the way they break down the instructions in here. Sometimes it's a lot in here, but they make it more simplistic in the workbook. This is going to have different things to practice like parts of speech and subject verb agreement. This is the lesson guide. You get a part one and a part two. This is going to have the learning coach parts where it'll tell you what to say to your child and what to read to them. And it's even going to have the answers for the workbook pages, but it'll also tell you to like ask them certain questions, but it's going to have listed what they should respond with. That way you know if they're like on the right track. For the language arts assessments, they have them in a separate book from the workbook. Science is hard. I have to pick this up and put it right there. It's called physics. It's in one place yeah. and then another. So this is kind of what the literature test would look like. Oh no. And again, this is something that you can do. You can either have your child read these questions and answer them in the workbook. You can ask them verbally. 
They can complete it online. I like that there's a couple of different options for that. Some kids test better if you ask them the questions. My kids and I all have dyslexia, so test taking stuff like this can sometimes be really overwhelming. Sometimes on a screen, they might click the wrong button. So to help with that, like it's really nice that you have the flexibility to do it either way. So they do give you a few extra books like they have in other grade levels. So we have a book on George Washington's life. There's a book about ancient Greece. Okay. That's gonna be fun. We love that. And then you'll have the, it's interesting, there's only one of these magazine kind of things. They give these out actually throughout all of elementary school. It just looks a little bit different when you get to fourth and fifth grade, but it's really cool because it gets kids exposed to reading in different forms. So you have shorter articles and they have like captions and headlines and stuff. Oh, so you do get a journal. That's odd because I don't think you got one for second grade. I didn't realize that there was a journal for third grade, but okay. So it has different prompts. Like if you could meet any book character, who would it be? These are really fun to like look back on after a few years. Okay, and we're down to only one box left. What's the last one? What's the one that we haven't gotten? Math. I think, I think this is math. I think you're right, because I think that's what you've been saying the whole time, and now it's finally... Math. I think this is math. I think this is math. You guessed it. Which they get every year in elementary school, that is. <laughs> so you get the base 10 blocks. I got these. Yeah, those are base 10 blocks. Oh, yeah, base 10 blocks. Ooh, I love these. I love building with these. They're fun. And you get the three-dimensional shapes. No snap cubes this time, but they did send more of the shapes. So these are great counting manipulatives. No snap cubes are... They're also cool to play with. You can snap them into pieces. I made a blaster once, a toy shooter. Yep. Okay, so this is the first year that K-12 students actually get a hardback math book. Now, the worksheets that are in here, this is almost exactly like what has been in his workbooks in the past, but in those, he could actually write in them because they were paperback and they were meant to be disposable. This is meant to get kids used to writing down problems on paper and copying things down. I feel like maybe, maybe third grade is a little soon for that, but it's no big deal though. They do have a link to all of the PDFs of these worksheets. They actually have that in the online lesson. So if you want to just print it out and have them do the worksheets that way, you can actually do that and that's not a bad way to do it. So I don't really know how we're going to do it this year. We might do some things verbally with him or we might print some out. We might test out and see how he does with copying. Tag is in a different position. He has an IEP and he's in some special education classes. So we'll just kind of see how it goes. And you can make castle towers and mountains. Yeah, you can build with those. Yes. And then this is the learning coach lesson guide. So this is gonna have the answers for all the problems that are in here. I will be honest, we really never open these up until, okay, so you can see real quick in here, the answers to this worksheet are written in pink or like this bright red kind of color so that you can check your child's work and you know that they're on track and they're doing the right thing and that they're grasping the concept. And then there is like extra help in here. So I could use this to teach them math, but we end up just using the online lesson a lot because it does explain things really well. And that's why we don't use these much for the kids until they hit like fourth grade. 
At that point, the math gets a lot more challenging and sometimes it helps to have an extra way to explain something. And you wanna make sure that you're explaining it the way that the book does because so we get questions a lot about Common Core in K-12. So the way that the math program was explained to me in 2014 when Lucy started was this math book is not written by a teacher. It's actually written by a mathematician. And it's written in such a way so that they what they teach you in like kindergarten and first grade and second grade and fifth grade helps how you're gonna learn math concepts later on in like ninth and 10th grade, whenever the math is much harder. So it's, I know I've seen a lot of parents say, I'm not gonna teach my kid that way. I'm just gonna teach them that you carry the one, which is great. They actually teach that, but they also teach other methods so that you think about the relationship with, between numbers and your kids have that much more of a chance to understand math in higher concepts later on. So I really encourage you guys, if you get frustrated with the math program, and sometimes we do, sometimes it feels like they're teaching too much too fast, but that's because the math is a spiral program. So they introduce something and then they bring it back around to a related concept and then it always comes back around. They do that for a reason, so just try to trust the process and trust that it's actually really good for your kids to learn how to do problems multiple ways because what's easiest for you might not be easiest for them their brain might not work that way they might need like something more visual like a table as opposed to you know these are the columns and this is the way i carry the one so it's it is a good program it's just it's very challenging <laughs> Um, reach out for help if you need it, like, but don't give up on it. This is a really great way to teach math and your kids will be doing like basic algebra stuff by fifth grade. That's not a bad thing. And if you think that this is like a ping pong ball and it bounces really good, no. It just bounces like two inches off the ground and it makes a high, really high pitch sound. If you want to test that, you can. It's not me. Yeah, so it's not that bouncy. But anyway, this is almost everything's a total mess now, but this is what you get with third grade and we're excited to start, right? Yes, and it's that little droid from Star Wars, the new one. Yeah, you can also make droids out of the shapes. See, it's awesome. So we will be back um, with another unboxing whenever it is that Lucy gets her materials we don't even know if her classes are going to be loaded tomorrow by the time school starts, Bye -bye. which we don't even know if her classes are going to all be loaded tomorrow, but there's a lot of delays and that's just because K-12 and our school in Virginia they're working really hard to like add more kids to the school so that kids can get like a really high quality education online during this pandemic. So if you are in that boat, just be patient. They're not gonna hold it against you if you don't have your materials or if the courses didn't load on time because that's on them. So. So yeah, just we hope you guys have a great start to the school year. Your life matters to us. Comment down below if you have any questions. Hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. We will be back soon with more videos. We do a lot of Disney and family content and also we'll be doing more K-12 stuff. We actually have a cool video coming up soon within the next couple of weeks where we're gonna show you 10 ways to stay healthy and active while you're at home and sitting and doing your schoolwork. And after that, we're going to do a mystery video. A mystery video. We love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Say bye. Goodbye, children. I'll see you later. <laughs> Did you have to make it sound so creepy? Yeah.